Slick talker since a jet. When it's time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, when I want hell of a kid. I am. Smoking gas, jugging me. I'm lit. What you doing? I done did. I swear. Slick talker since a jet. Finesse. I know that this what they want. Facts. Run up some money, I'm gone. I'm a Hey yo, we are on Kurokono Basket episode 20. This nigga, of course, this happened. Oh my god, happens to us. My subtitles are not on yet again. Anyway, Tepe just pulled up. Bro, why do you have an aura right here? Am I tweaking? Y'all saw that, right? I was like, Kagami was putting people on a poster during practice. Look, I figured something out. He's trying to figure something out. He needs to eat. I'm saying, how are we gonna level up? I don't think it's fair for me. You know, hold on. See, okay. The discussion, you know, saying obviously Tepe the center, Kagami's a power forward. I think Mitobe is playing center right now. Or, I mean, not Mitobe. I think Kagami's playing center. And maybe Mitobe is playing power forward right now. I'm assuming. So, why don't we just take Mitobe out the starting lineup? If that's the case, I might I might be mistaken. I might be mistaken. I might have to go back and look at the starting lineups from previous games. But I think Mitobe might be starting at power forward right now. And obviously, Kagami is a natural power forward. So why don't we just slide this dude in that center, take, put Mitobe on the bench, and have Kagami play power forward next to this guy at center. But who knows how who knows how good he is? I, like I said, I, like I said, I, if you watched the review of my my last in my last video, I think he's gonna get his ass busted by Kagami right here because we saw him as a finger roll layup earlier in the episode last time. So. I don't know. One on one though. Mmm. Kagami, you want to take that challenge? Come on. He looks dead serious. Never mind. Damn. I forget who this dude is, but I feel like I know him. Oh my god. I already know who this dude is, bro. The clapped hairline. The clapped hairline. This dude's gotta be the dude from that uh that that defense team. <laughs> Seho. Or am I tweaking? <laughs> I might be tweaking. I wouldn't have tripled their score. <laughs> he probably would have just doubled. <laughs> well, damn. So bro's a, bro's a monster. Or is this Shutoko? All right, this is Shutoku. This is Shutoku. Damn, bro. Bro's just getting buckets. All right, we, we about to play one-on-one. -on -one? Okay. Okay, he's dribbling smooth so far. You know what I'm saying? He's not breaking any bones or, or whatnot. Like, all right. That's, oh, oh, okay. Has he? Has he? Okay. Oh, he, he low-key quick. I can't lie. Damn, but he's going to miss the layup, though. Watch. Or oh, okay, Kagami. Yes, sir. Yo, he's shook. Whoa, he's been watching the film. Oh, uh, OST. Hey, okay, Kagami. Like I said, I feel like Kagami about to bust his ass. Of course, he just got back. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's been moved. He's probably too slow. Oh, okay, he jumped up high. He is, is Kagami about to do a hook. Oh my god, no, nigga. That does fucking, that defies all types of fucking logic. My nigga, what the fuck did I. Oh, Jesus. Y'all. Yo, what? What exactly did I just witness here? Look at this. Look at this. What did what what did I just witness? What did I just witness? Nick, what what did bro, bro is literally flying? Kagami's on zero gravity. I swear. This this this, this is it, it, it. <laughs> that is wild. Nani, damn, right, bro. I'd be saying Nani more than that, more than once. Nah, Kagami's a monster. He can start. Okay. Oh, and no, I bet he dropped his ass off. Dropped the the dude that started everything off and just and just leaves. Oh, chill. I'm gonna lie, Tepe, Kiyoshi, whatever you want to call him. You know he looking sauce. I can't lie. You know I'm saying you're not gonna disrespect me like that though. If I'm Kagami, bro, you gonna have to play me again. Kiyoshi. I feel like it's about to be a very wholesome walk back home. Kuroko's fine. <laughs> I don't know about Kuroko. The other way around to me. In fact, it seems like Kuroko's not fine. Bonding experience? Absolutely. Next day already. Well, who's this? Oh, we got a skirmish? Hey, yo! About damn time. They haven't even played it. They didn't even play us in the scrimmage against Kaijo. I think that's what that uh, Kisei's team is. Bro, we didn't even play a scrimmage against them. They didn't even play in the scrimmage. About damn time y'all get in the game, damn. Isn't this a little too sudden? Well, you, shoot, y'all Ben should have been in there. Y'all got Kagami and Kuroko, so y'all be straight. Sanomar <laughs> will have three consecutive days, damn. Hey. <laughs> well, let's, not, let's not assume that. <laughs> you don't have to pass to me anymore. You need to relax, bro. I mean, I guess he's trying to figure something out, but... Okay. He didn't blame, no. I see. He's so stupid he wouldn't notice if we didn't tell him. 
Oh. It's Kuriko. I said Kuriko just needs to deepen his bag, but. Oh, Kagami! He jumps high. I can't stop this guy. Bro wants to do it himself like Almine. Damn! Oh, okay. Some of the first year getting some action. Yes, sir. Okay, bet. Bet. Who's open? Who's open? Kagami's Cog not even looking at him. Are we? Oh, we won! Damn! We didn't lose. But well, we barely beat them. Not the burger place. Watch Kagami and Kuriko pull up. And what was that? Who's pulling up? Okay, Captain, getting buckets. Damn! Bro needs to calm down with that. You could have just said hey from a distance and came up to him. No. Mm. Why is the eye shaking though? You good, my boy? Take you out to start one for Kiyoshi? On the other floor, he could be strong. Mm hmm. I think it's Draymond Green. <laughs> to abandon his style. Interesting. Well, it's gonna be very interesting. How exactly is he gonna do that? Damn! Oh, don't just hit me out of nowhere. Mm, okay. Only one of us could do it. The response be following him. Alright, bet. <laughs> he thought it was the best for the team. In front of place that. And, and uh, I'm gonna lie, that happens a lot of the times. A lot of the times. You know, niggas that are like 6'2, six, 6'3, six, that's supposed to be playing guard, be playing center for their high schools. It just messes them all up. I ain't gonna lie. It's sad to see. You know what I'm Once they get to college, they lack the, the fundamentals for their actual position. Damn, okay. Oh, yeah, bro, it's mad quick. Yo. Yo. Oh, my animation in this flashback is crazy. <laughs> now, bro, threw a dime right there. Yo. Yo, Kyoshi sauce. Damn, when did this happen? <laughs> okay. Bet, bet, bet. But you should do the same, Koriko. Keep pushing ahead. The dog is waiting. Damn, you just leaving him, leaving him, uh, uh, you just leaving the dog? Damn. Yeah. What do you just look at? No, you should be fine now. Ha. Mmm. All right, let's see where this leads. Where did, where will this lead? Oh, okay, Kagami in his usual spot at the park. Don't know why he's dribbling with his eyes closed. Always in, imagining defenders. But it's not enough. Mm. Mm. Damn, I mean, it's crazy. Okay, I beat them in a one on one. Jesus. Understandable. And Kuroko can't talk. This is where they first, I mean, not first met. Well, kind of. <laughs> where they first, you know, played each other. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Send me one on one right now, boy. Just like episode one. Yeah, just like episode one. Oh, 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 I thought that was Kuroko, damn it. <laughs> I thought Kuroko cross-cogged me for a minute. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Later, I find a way to really do. Yep. Best player in Japan. Like, imagine if somebody so told you that. Why did you choose me? I mean, shoot, you're the best on the team. I have to apologize. Damn! Well, that's heartbreaking. Trump card? I don't know about a Trump card. But they did not trust me. I'm a remarkable player. Damn, bro. You see that? I'm about, I'm about to point it out. I'm about to say something, but I decided not to. But now I'm going to say he did look a little bit chunky. You know what I'm saying? A little chubby back then. You know what I'm saying? True. As they leveled up. <laughs> and themselves. Ooh. The game. That really happened? They cannot pass. Ooh. Oh, ISO. Selfish. Mm. It's just like them. And, oh. You're different. You trusted me. Mm. True. He has trusted Kuroko. Facts. Level up on your, on your own. Yep. He hit it right on the nail. Yeah. <laughs> you trusted me. Y'all bros. No. You are a regular. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, this is the most Korko's ever talked ever in the series. We can generate some Rokos. Yes, sir. That's that's the plan. Ooh. Oh, lob. Hey. This red is mine right there. We're going to be the best. Facts. Facts. Like, we need to know what. Oh, he don't even know. Damn, that's, that's tough. All right, then. Ha. Yeah. Fist bump. Let's go. Mm. 
Alright, alright, alright. Tough episode, tough episode. I'm a, I'm a, that, was, that was fire. You know, quite a bit went down this episode. Obviously, first things first, we obviously had the Tepe 1v1. Kagami was defying all types of gravity, all types of logic, all types of laws of nature. Bro, that, that reverse dunk was insane. Literally wild. Um, We had that. Uh, Tepe or Kiyoshi, whatever you want to call him. I feel like Tepe is easier for me. I might just call him Tepe. I don't know. I'll go back and forth. But Tepe, you know, I, I like his character a lot. You know, so I like his character. Obviously, bro, was a beast back in the day. We saw that one pass to the captain. My guy, bro, can play point guard and he can play center. You know what I'm saying? Bro's a, bro's a, a demigod, essentially, right now, right? He's a demigod. Um, and, and it seems like his plan is working, you know. So, and obviously... Kuroko, uh, he obviously talked to uh, Captain, you know, saying Hugo, my boy Hugo, got some insight, and then went to go talk to Kagami, and he understood him, saying so he finally understands how Kagami feels, and I guess we finally understand how Kagami feels as well, you know, they just want to get stronger, at least Kagami, at first, you know, and Kagami's idea was, you know, let's get stronger, you know, that's the plan right now, though, is, you know, to get stronger separately, and then, you know, when we come back together, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna go crazy. We're gonna go crazy when we get back together. So, you know what I'm saying? I mess with that. Um Kagami, he's obviously trying to level up as much as he can before a winter cup season. And Kirk is gonna do the same. How? We don't know. I don't know. I can't even begin to imagine how. You know, I don't think he's gonna you know, obviously become a shooter. He I think he's gonna stay a specialist, but he's gonna um, become even better at passing some way, somehow. I, I don't know how he will, but he he's gotta. You feel me? He's got to so we'll, we'll see how he goes about that um i don't know about the but i don't know about the current obviously winter cup is coming but i don't know about the current I, obviously we haven't had a flat uh you know we haven't skipped time yet you know what i'm saying we haven't gone for it yet i feel like that might happen next episode but okay we who's who's winning the inter high right now who won the inter high i don't know if we're gonna ever get that uh you know saying well i mean ac win uh i don't know i would assume they would you know um so I wonder what that's gonna look like, uh, if if we even see that. We might just see, it. We, might be, we might just hear about it uh, if we get a flash forward, you know, to the winter season, right? Um, but I, I I would assume that's going on maybe right now still. Um, but but yeah, though it's gonna be really interesting to see how they're gonna integrate Tepe though. Obviously, they're not gonna start him. Supposedly, they're not gonna start him. We're gonna keep the stars the same. Having Tepe off the bench is kind of crazy. Can't even cap. You know, saying I feel like he should be starting. If, if, if he's coming off the bench, it don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? He could be our sixth man, right? Uh, you know, so Tepe, he, he's looking like a monster. Uh, can't wait to see him actually play in an A game and, you know, get his legs under him. And obviously, previous opponents have recognized him as a huge threat. So that's, you know, very respectable to him. But, guys, that's going to be it for this episode, man. Um, next episode, I don't. I, what will happen next episode? I can't even imagine. I don't know. I. I. I would assume maybe a little time skip, but who knows? I, I don't know where to, who knows? I don't know. Well, we'll have to see by watching it. So with that being said, though, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, man, do not forget to drop a like, man. And if you're brand new to the channel, man, do not forget to subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned for some more cool, good, no basketball, gentlemen. Peace.